Eh mwisho mimi ningemwambia rais Uhuru Kenyatta asilalalamike. He should stop lamenting. We told him he spent his second term changing the constitution illegally and constitutionally. He spent a lot of his time with his handshake brother. The economy is bleeding. Prices are very high. So he has 90 days to go. So he should not cry. He sidelined his deputy. He sidelined the, 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 the top leadership of his party that elected him and worked with him in 2017. So he should not come and lament in public. He has 90 days. He should pack his bags, go and allow the people of Kenya in a democratic election to elect their next leader who will fix the economy, who will unite the people, and who will make Kenya great. I think uh, he knows what he has done. He had an opportunity, and he squandered that opportunity. As a good friend, as a person who worked with him, I think the president must not lament in public. He knows what he has done. He wanted to do a constitutional change that was going to affect many people, including the Muslim Ummah. And we are saying, uh, you have been given five years, you have 90 plus days, please don't get involved in the succession politics. Allow the people of Kenya to elect their leaders in a free, fair, peaceful and transparent election. And just like the other presidents, you have your retirement package given to you by the Constitution. Get it and go home. Thank you very much. Yes,